I get a lot of requests to try certain things, products, try doing something a certain way, all kinds of interesting things. And some of them I'm interested in doing and other ones I'm not. Now this one in particular that I'm going to tell you about today that I've heard from this fella here, Mr. Old School, has mentioned this several times to me. And what it is, is this special concoction that they use on their patches and they claim that it allows them to load and fire their muzzle loaders all day without having to clean them. Now I've heard these kinds of things before and I've heard guys talk about using a spit patch and they say, oh, I can load and shoot all day. Okay, that's fine. Well, maybe I don't make as much spit as they do. Anyway, now I've heard these kind of things before and it always seems a little gimmicky to me. Now he has mentioned it to me over and over again and a couple other fellows have too, the same recipe that I'll tell you about. And they say the same thing. You don't have to swab your barrel. You just load and fire. It works great. And each time you load it, it's just as easy as the first time. It doesn't matter if it's the 10th or 25th shot. It loads just as easy. So I decided to give this a try. Now, what this is, and it's not exactly super secret, is a 50% one-to-one -one ratio, 50% water, 50% Dawn dish soap. Not exactly top secret stuff, but these guys swear by it. And so I decided that I would give it a try. So here it is. Now I'm going to show you this video here and it's going to be mostly unedited at all. So uh, I'll do my best to get all the foul language out of there, but you're just going to have to listen to whatever goofy topic that we're talking about at the time. Uh, just so you know that I'm not fudging anything here. Again, I'm not selling anything. I'm not making any money on any of this. I don't work for Dawn Dish Soap. This is the magical mystery juice. Magical, yeah. magical mystery pork juice. This stuff is, uh, it's slimy. And, and you grab one of those patches and it, it goes down the barrel, okay, but it does. it's slimy. It's like using aloe vera gel. Uh, yeah, I guess. So, why don't you turn the camera around and we'll look at this, huh? All right. And by the way, we're not drinking while shooting. Those are reactive targets. Yeah, nobody in their right mind would drink that terrible. <laughs> Especially while shooting. Okay, so here we have our dry patches. These are not lube, these are just dry cotton patches. You take your special spray stuff, as far as I understand it, soak and, it in and, there. And what is it, it's Dawn? It is 50% Dawn dish soap and 50% water. By volume. Well, I guess you could weigh it if you wanted to, but... Well, yeah. You know the science freaks in the comment section, bro. Yeah, it's not I, scientific enough. I Is do. it by weight or by volume or fluid ounces yeah. or... Another thing I don't like is you have to have a bench. I suppose you could, you know, loop those up yeah, and pull them out of your bag one at a time. Maybe I'll try that. Oh, yeah, we got a nice breeze coming in. That's good, because it's hot out here. It is. It's warm. That was a nice hit. 
So we'll just keep on doing that. Only thing is, I don't want to spray all those patches if it's not. Yeah, if it ends up being junk, it'll be a waste of patches. I don't care for it, but. Yeah. I've had more than a few people swear by this particular method, but. Well, we'll put it to the test. They keep on telling us to do it. You know, we might as well just do it. Well, I don't want someone saying that I didn't do it proper. Be open and open-minded, you know, trying new things and all. Oh, there we go. Nice west breeze to dry out the back. The only clean clothes I had were uniforms. Otherwise, I wouldn't be wearing my same here Union blues. <laughs> same here. <laughs> That's another good one. That was three shots. You want to run a swab down it? See no, if it's dirty? I'm, they, they, that's what everybody says. It's like, you don't have to swab it. Just load and shoot all day. That's what we're going to do. Or at least until... Until it gets too hot. Wet to death. <laughs> well, we're getting there already. Oh, hey, I wanted to go at six. So did I. Somebody's got to get their beauty sleep, though. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I had. Hey, it's working. Yeah. Look at how good he looks. Still got his hair, too. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely loads easy. That's yeah. for sure. That's good. That's a good sign. But if you use vinyl snot, too. I think that's probably the deal. It's just so slippery, but you know, that's okay. Doing good so far. All right, Jimmy. Get him, Jim. Don't flinch. Shut that switch off. Yep. Oh. Flash in the pan. Man, you know that? That lock. That lock is not right, man. Okay, that's not so good enough, Jake. No, I've got, got to be fair. I'm going to make sure we make it fair. Okay, that hung really bad. That hung so bad. Yeah. And it was low. Sounded wimpy, too. It did. That was 60 grain. Yeah. Shit gets slippery. <laughs> Looks like it goes down easy, though. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, because, you know, it's gone dish soap. Well, so. that's, that's, that's fine. Just cleaning up the hole. That was a hang and it was, that, it was a What you using, bad, Jake? Swiss? Bad yeah. Swiss? 3F? Yeah. Just like I would most of the time. Yeah, you kind of don't want to get it on both your hands. <laughs> then you can't hold yeah, nothing. You, yeah. This part I knew the one was getting huh? I don't want to step on the rabbits, that's why. Oh. There's a magnet's got to go.
flinch. You flinch too much. Go into settings and turn off the flinch mode. Nice. I think we should still swap it just to see. Let me put a cut. What am I on? Six? Yeah, I think five or six. Let me let me let me just load and fire it a few more times. Okay. Because obviously it seems to be seems to be working as advertised. Note to self, blow up dolls, not as good as advertised. about that what i haven't had my earplugs in but they're hanging around my neck so i'm sure some oh uh, some fud but he's gonna mention that safety ranger yeah. you're gonna be all upset yeah. when they hit you up with that you just send back huh yeah what? i couldn't hear you i couldn't hear your i couldn't hear what you read or what you what you spelled i couldn't hear what couldn't hear what you wrote I yeah hear yeah what, yeah i couldn't hear what you wrote that would be funny Yeah. My hearing's so bad at this point, I can't even hear what you wrote. Yeah, it was a hit. God. It's out, we're on, but it's, a, it's several. Eight or something. All right. I'm just going to keep on doing that, I guess. Sharp shooting Willard. And anyways, he, he started up a YouTube channel, and he was just talking about this dude named Dragon Lord, who is like a live streamer that, it, like, did the stupidest shit by giving out his address. That's always a bad idea. Yep. And then proceeded to have thousands and thousands of trolls show up at his house and give him shit. Yeah. Huh? No, it's not dripping. Yeah. But it's not know. soaking wet. I mean it. What is that, 65 or 70 yards there? Uh, from back here, the the far green one is 75 to 80, depending on where we park okay, the truck. Well, I can hit that target repeatedly at that yard. I, yeah, I don't think you've missed once. Well, there's always, always time for that. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's one of the reasons we're out here. Ah! Uh, I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> you know why that happened, My right? My barrel is getting hot. You know why that happened, right? Because you just said, oh, I, you haven't missed I once. I fucking said it. Yeah. Sharp shooting wheeler it hasn't missed once. Yeah, it's still easy to load. Good. Absolutely. It means it's not getting crunchy. That's and that's with Swiss, which is crunchier than our uh, our balsa. We got to make some more of that stuff, man. That shit's killer. I had one guy tell me. Smacked it. I had one guy tell me that uh, the Swiss or the uh, balsa was clearly dirtier in that picture, and I needed to retest everything. And it was like, well... Must be a Swiss fanboy. Well, yeah, which I remember it's upsetting. Fun. I remember what to upset the Swiss fan club more than a few times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have. Ow. Oh, mustache hair. Mustache hair. Oh, it's the worst. But this guy said it was clearly dirtier and you needed to retest with dry patches. And it's like, well, no, I, I don't. Simply because... I could shoot more without having to swab it with my stuff than I can with Swiss. So I don't really care what the patch looks like because the results are the same. Mm. So I gave him my standard reply of, you know, well, you're more than welcome to try it yourself. yourself yeah. Tell me what you think. It's not like our stuff is some secret ratio. We put it all up there. You even said it's 77, 13, 10, balsa wood, charcoal. Low Damn. and slow shard. This is... There you go. It went off that day. Look high, Jim. Yeah, it was high. But it sure cracked off. Good. It sure did. Yeah, it was a good one. Hey, uh, this is loading super easy. 
like no trouble at all. I got to be, uh, maybe... be in the teens somewhere by now, don't I? Oh, yeah. Maybe the bork juice is pretty good. Seems like it's working pretty good. I guess the next step would be to put it on paper or something and see if your accuracy suffers after 10 or 12 shots. But or the chrono. You could do the chrono too. Seems to, seems to be doing okay right yeah. now. Yeah, that barrel's warm. That's hot. Look, when I shot the 5070 last weekend, that thing was so hot I couldn't even hang on to it. Yeah, that was hot. This is just warm. It's just warm enough. Yeah, like when we do the steak shoot, then my brown best barrel gets so hot it'll burn you. Yeah, starts changing colors. I don't know about that. Well, you know what I mean. Not literally, oh, but <laughs> yeah, that'd be like, oh shit, that that thing's gonna start unraveling. Looking for bulges in the barrel. Now. <laughs> you guys are such comedians. Comedians. Just a thought, if you throw those in the tin and get with some of that shit, then you just take out one. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, and then yeah. you know, having to wipe it all over your pants, or you'd have to carry a rag well, with you. Yes, that's fine to come out clean when you wash them. Hey, there's looking on the bright side. Yeah. Extra clean. Everything else will still have grease stains on, except for that one spot right there on his, on his thigh. Yeah. What was that? It was a transmission in an F one fifty, I think. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it was. Don't flinch, Jim. You got it, man. You had it, you didn't flinch. Yeah. Low. All right. I don't know how many shots that was, several, way more than I would ever shoot without cleaning it, but it kept loading easy. I reckon you probably could do that all day. I'm just out here shooting a little bit. What you doing? Uh, it's okay. I went out to the ranch and then I went and got the babies and raised garden beds. Huh. Well, that don't look half bad. Wow, okay. You got to do that once in a while. That's... I don't know, a dozen shots or something like that. And it comes out looking as clean as it was if it was one or three. That is, uh, that's not bad. That's, that's impressive. Never would have guessed it. Honestly, I figured it would have done more Fallon than anything else. Okay. Fallon of the powder. The, I, I, my theory on why it actually yeah. works is basically you're using your patch as a cleaning swab every, every time. time which you know i suppose if you really wanted to get technical you could put it on paper at 100 yards and see if it really has any effect it which it now. probably would but i don't know if it would be to quote paul harrell enough of a difference to make a difference but uh as far as this goes right here yeah, we're out tough to beat that uh, no doubt about it yeah we're coming out of now we did look around on the ground and find a couple of the patches that I was using and if you do look close you could see there is a little bit of unburned powder that I'm sure is fouled by that dish soap and water mixture. Now that's not really enough of a problem to make me concerned about it. It's probably only a grain or two, maybe three at the max. It just doesn't seem to be that big of a problem. But again, if you really wanted to be safe or sure, you'd have to put it on paper to find out what you are or aren't getting. Well, I'll be damned if that didn't work like a freaking charm. Now, there are a couple things that I'm not too excited about, and you heard me mention it there. It's slimy, you know. I don't typically like having to have a bench or a tailgate. I like loading and shooting out of my bag and my horn. Again, I suppose you could have a tin or a bag or have them in your bag soaked like that, but it's slimy. You know, it gets a little slippery sometimes hanging on to them. I didn't soak them to where they were dripping wet, but it definitely worked as advertised. I got, I don't know how many shots there that I showed you. Plus, we were shooting at 180 yards, uh, and I put several shots downrange that away. Again, didn't swab it and clean it, just repeated loading and fired. And every time I loaded it 
It loaded just as easy as the first time, just like these guys said. Uh, as far as how it performs, I don't think you could ask for anything better than that. So Mr. Old School and the other two fellers that were talking about this, I don't remember who you are, but you remember who you are. Thanks for badgering me enough to give this a try. I'm really glad you did because that worked out bitchin'. Thanks again. So, as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, well, then go make your own damn video.